Hello everyone, this is Today in History. Today is Wednesday, January the 17th, the 17th day of 2024. There are 349 days left in the year. On this day in 1706, American author, inventor, and diplomat Benjamin Franklin, who, as one of the foremost founding fathers, helped draft the Declaration of Independence, was born today. On this day in 1734, Augustus III was crowned King of Poland. On this day in 1893, acting for Hawaiian sugar interests and their American allies, a committee led by Sanford Ballard Dole deposed Hawaiian Queen Lilu Kalani this day in 1893 and installed a provisional government with Dole as president. On this day in 1899, American gangster Al Capone was born in Brooklyn, New York. On this day in 1917, the United States purchased three of the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, St. John, St. Croix, from Denmark for $25 million. It's a pretty good deal. On this day in 1922, American actress Betty White, who was best known for her comedic work on numerous television shows, was born. On this day in 1929, cartoon character Popeye, a sailor known for his love of spinach, made his debut appearing in the newspaper comic strip Thimble Theater. On this day in 1931, American actor James Earl Jones, whose deep resonant voice lent an air of gravitas to many roles, was born in Arkabutla, Mississippi. On this day in 1942, American professional boxer Muhammad Ali was born in Louisville, Kentucky. On this day in 1943, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt met in Casablanca, Morocco. On this day in 1944, during World War II, Allied forces launched the first of four battles for Mont Cassino in Italy. The Allies were ultimately successful. On this day in 1950, the Great Brinks robbery took took place as seven masked men held up a Brinks garage in Boston, stealing $1.2 million in cash and $1.5 million in checks and money orders. Although the entire gang was caught, only part of the loot was recovered. On this day, 1955, the submarine USS Nautilus made its first nuclear-powered test run from its birth in Groton, Connecticut. On this day, 1961, in his farewell address, U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower warned that the United States must guard against acquisition of unwarranted influence by the military-industrial complex. He felt that if left unchecked, it would undermine American democracy. Too bad we didn't heed that advice. On this day in 1966, the Simon and Garfunkel album Sounds of Silence was released by Columbia Records. On this day in 1977, convicted murderer Gary Gilmore, 36, was shot by a firing squad at the Utah State Prison in the first U.S. execution in a decade. On this day in 1991, Harald V became king of Norway following the death of his father, Olav V. On this day in 1995, more than 6,000 people were killed when an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.2 devastated the city of Kobe, Japan. On this day in 2008, American-born chess player Bob Bobby Fischer, who became the youngest grandmaster in history when he received the title in 1958, died at age 64 in Iceland. On this day in 2016, Iran released three American former U.S. military, Amir Hakmadi, Washington Post reporter Jason Razian, and Pastor Saeed Abedina as part of a prisoner swap that also netted Tehran some $600 billion for sanction relief. On this day in 2020, U.S. health officials announced that they would be screened airline pastures from central China. All right, folks, that's it for today. Today is Wednesday, January the 17th, the 17th day of 2024. There are 349 days left in the year.